Hello, my name is Anthony Vasha, and um, I'm going to be doing a presentation on a song I've written called Room Colour. Here's the song first. The track. Um, so, like I said, my name is Anthony Vasha. Hope you enjoy it. Um, so, I first began songwriting when I was around 16 years old. When I first, because I didn't really start singing until I was 15, 16. And I first, I joined my first band when I was 16, and that's when I began songwriting. And um, it, it was a rough patch at first like because it was something completely new to us i'd never done it before but uh i was in that band for for over three years so the like the songs and the writing in those songs improved greatly over the over the three years and uh like now i'm much more confident in songwriting and much more confident in my ability and uh, moving on to this song the song was called broken colors as i said and it was originally sung just by a male vocalist and it wasn't until i brought it into my band that I was in at the time that we thought would be great to have both a male and female vocalist and it's only simple with just the acoustic guitar and two vocalists. Is it just one acoustic guitar? 
Yes, this was one, yeah. Right. So uh, the original idea, like I said, was on acoustic guitar. Well, it wasn't too different to the um, guitar and finish project. It was it was a little bit slower pace and a bit more finger picked, but mm -hmm. when when the two vocalists came in, the song like sounded stronger. So I just I thought it'd be much much better playing it more aggressive and more powerful to fit the uh, to fit the decision of the two vocalists in. Mm -hmm. um, so th they're the lyrics. If you want to have a, um, a quick browse through them. Is this in your? Have you got this? Is it a written, a written piece as well? The lyrics. Yeah. They're, they're handed they're, in. They're, they're already submitted. Yeah, they're already submitted. Yeah. Right. Well, so I'll, I'll read them on the, on the, the pack. Yeah. So uh, the vocals obviously is the main part of the song, and again performed by both male and female. And the the, di the aim of the song was, especially during the bridge, was to have it as if they were singing at each other, not just singing together. Mm -hmm. Which it, it stands out most in the bridge and in the chorus, I believe, because with the slightly different lyrics, with the his and her in the chorus. Okay. And with the bridge, with the male starting and the female uh, singing the second half of the bridge, and like in in that section, that's that's when like the the emotion, the power really like builds. That's when it becomes its strongest point over the over the final two choruses in the bridge. Mm -hmm. And uh, those those are what I believe is the uh, best part of the song. And, uh, moving on to the guitar, so like originally finger picked as I've said until until the two vocalists came in. And it was it was first written on guitar, like I wrote on guitar with a different set of lyrics at first, and the the guitar slightly changed and the lyrics slightly changed to fit the to fit um, having the two vocalists. And was was it written with a capo? Yeah, uh, yes, it was okay. written on um, it was it was played in open G and written with a capo on six, I believe. Right. If I remember rightly. <laughs> what was the reason for that particular choice of fret? It was just where the where the um. The word, like the, just where it sounded best with all the vocalists, like the two, right. like, like so the, the, the compromise between yeah, the two of you. Compromise with the range, it's, it's where it sounded best with the two. Well, the original was written in the same key, or did you did you change the key when you added the female? Yeah, the original was on six. Oh, okay, so it went to the semitone. Yes, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Just because the, the females vocals didn't sound as strong when they were slightly lower down. Too low in the range. Like yeah. it, it just sounded much, much, much more improved when it was up a little bit, and up too much was too high for me, so I had to <laughs> compromise okay. and give it up. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's just what the lyrics are about. The relationship between the two people having a rough time, but they both want to get through it and not lose it. But it seems inevitable, and they just both, the whole, both of them, like neither of them wants to end it. They just both want to get through it together mm -hmm. and, and stay as the one. And um, yeah, that's that's my final product. How do you yeah. think the, um, the the choice of chords you've you've created? matches the the subject matter of the piece they just just meet them like um how in what way they just sound perfect with the lyrics like the again how like, in, um, in what way I'm, I'm trying to think of the words <laughs> like i don't want to use the simple happy and sad terms uh, well you can if you want because it's it's like it's quite a sad song technically mm -hmm. and like the minor chords and the soft chords um yeah, so they um just fit the lyrics fit the fit the vocalist well and just it's just how it was all brought together to sound the best it could be. Okay. Any other questions? Um, I've probably got another three hundred. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, so wh where was where did you record it? Uh, it was recorded in Studio One. This, uh, like was that sort of a self-driven project, or were you, did you use any of the tech students to? Uh, no, to no, we did, it, we did it ourselves in the band. Oh um, right, so the band the band were there, but uh, but only you. Who's this? Who's this female singer? Ellen. Sorry, Ellen. Ellen, as yeah. in Scusi. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, um, so the, was it? W so, with the rest of the band, um, obviously there's only one acoustic guitar, but you, which you played. Yes? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So, were the band there, but just for moral support or technical support? Just because we were all recording at the time, and that we're just, ah, going, okay, we're just so going through the tracks, and Liam's the one with the most like music te tech, technical know. tech knowledge. Okay. So he, he, he had the whole setup. Like we, we didn't record it as like a. Like different tracks recorded it in a live with a with a live performance sound. All right. Did you record the vocals and the guitar at the same time? Yes, everything was recorded together. Oh, yeah. and the, and the female vocals as well. Yes, every, everything was done together as a live performance. We used um, two condenser mics and two overheads to like fully capture every every sound we could and, right. and like to really pick up the sound of the room. And it, it um 
It worked. It, it was obviously hard because it took a few takes to make sure everything was perfect and there mm. wasn't any bum notes or, or slight, slight mistakes on the guitar. Right. And um, like just the way it was set up really like captured the room and captured the reverb and it just it's it saved a lot of editing in the end actually. It, Absolutely. Yeah. It just it just saved it saved a ton of edit in the end. That was just that was just basics to do to mop it up. Uh, but uh, I, I I thought it was a better way of recording it in the end. The, the vocalist could have been a bit uh, not the vocalist like the sound of the vocals could have been a bit. Louder, if possible. Yeah, I, think just, I, would, I would agree with that. It's just a slight compromise, really. Yeah. Okay. I, I think there's, uh, you know, you, if you were recording that commercially, you you would never do it that way. Yeah. When, um, when was when we're, uh, because like we sold it in, with the band, we sold it as a live performance, not as a. Yeah, like a, a, almost like a live demo kind yeah. of thing. Fine. Okay. Um. So what 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 changes did you? make um, as far as uh, when you took it from being a, a solo vocal, solo song into being a, a female, what, what was the pivotal or what was the major change that you made? The whole second verse and bridge completely vanished from the original lyrics. And that was and that was putting it from more, more from her standpoint than, than a solo standpoint, was that the idea? Well the, originally they were all like, they would have all been male vocals, it was all, all female vocals, it could have been yeah. either, but um, like once, once we thought, because the first lyrics didn't really sound the best of the song. Like the the melody, the melody changed very slightly. Right. Um, and that's when the guitar changed from the thing that like the slower, slower pace thing, the thing that was spinning and everything. Okay. Um, just completely got rid of the second verse to put new lyrics in and from a female standpoint, and the whole bridge obviously had to change to fit the singing. Because it was the harmonies, so, yeah. Yeah. And when you're harmonising, who who had the original melody? Was it the male vocal with the female harmonising on top, it or was, was it the female vocal with the originally male? Originally, it was me singing with Ellen on Ellen doing the uh, high, high, high harmony. harmony. Okay. But um, it just it sounded, it sounded better the way we did it in the end, I believe. Okay. Because with, with her singing the second verse, me going in the lead again in the second chorus didn't sound it didn't sound right. Like with me singing the first chorus, going from the first verse to the first chorus, and mm -hmm. me going from the Second verse to me singing the chorus again, it just didn't sound as smooth, so she sang, okay. she sang the choruses, like the main lines from the choruses. Fine, that makes sense to me. Yeah. Okay, That's, uh, I think we can leave it there, that's great, thank awesome. you. Thank you.